piece from Washington brings a whole new meaning to the term being a good neighbor. Liz Labe shares the story of a veteran saving a life sparked from a single text message. Sunday, December 10th, a Washington Air Force veteran rushed over to his neighbor's home, not knowing he would be saving a life. Gwen and Mark Badgero were watching soccer Sunday afternoon when Mark's health took a turn for the worse. He started to make some really odd noises, like almost a snoring sound, um, like someone having trouble breathing. I said, Mark, I'm calling 911, stay with me. Gwen then texted their longtime friend and next door neighbor, Ryan Thompson, for help. She says Thompson was over in seconds and immediately began CPR after seeing Mark unconscious. Thompson says he continued chest compressions for eight to 10 minutes. It felt like, you know, uh, uh, you know, he, he was no longer with us at that point. When EMTs arrived, they said Thompson saved his life. My husband has a titanium clip around his sternum from open heart surgery in February, and he's a really big guy. Um, without Ryan's help, I don't know how we, we, we wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Thompson says he did what any good neighbor would do and says that it's a good idea for everyone to learn CPR. Never know what you could run into at the mall, at the, you know, uh, at the grocery store or, or even, you know, in traffic. Um, you know, you see somebody in help, somebody in need, and, and uh, as a good citizen, you, you do what you can to help them. Gwen says the two families plan on getting together during this now extra special holiday season. Mark, now on his road to recovery from cardiac arrest, prepared a statement to let us know how much he appreciates Thompson's life-saving instincts. It must have taken tremendous strength and effort. The level of effort meant that I am alive this holiday with my family. And just extreme heartfelt thank you. In Washington, Liz Lake, 25 News.